Hey there, it's been a while. Um, I'm sorry about that. I've been very lazy for the past two weeks. Um, basically, I think doing YouTube videos is still not quite in my routine. Um, every time when the weekends come, um, I just kind of don't know what to film about and so I stress out and I decide not to film. So yeah. And uh, I didn't realize, but last weekend I could have done a May favorites video because the May was coming to an end. And so I am doing it right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with um, skincare routine. Uh, not skincare routine, sorry, skincare products. Um, I have a very oily skin. Um, that has a tendency to have dry patches since I arrived here in uh, London. And I also have uh, a tendency for blemishes and blood pores. So I really needed something to exfoliate my skin, but I wanted to have something that was quite gentle. And while I was watching one of Lisa Eldridge's videos, she said that she had quite a similar skin to, or quite similar issues that I have. And she said that something that she really likes is this product here called Dermalogica Gentle Cream Exfoliant. And this is a chemical, a, chemical, <laughs> a chemical exfoliant. So basically what it does, it does, it, it's kind of a slightly acid and it eats away dead skin, if that makes any sense. So uh, I bought it, I tried it. I really like it and in combination with that what I like to do is to use um, physical exfoliant. Now I'm, I'm the, I have the type of skin that is very sensitive so if I use a physical exfoliant that has grains it will scratch my skin and then I will have marks or I would have even more uh, zits or pimples and yeah that's very sorry annoying. So I went to Lush looking for um, a gentle exfoliant or scrub and I found this one which is called the Herbalist. Instead of grains, it really feels as if it was like um, fiber. So when I roll on my skin I don't feel all those little like sand things. It's more like, um, I don't know, really, it feels like fiber. This is, like I said, just a sample, but as soon as I run out of it, I'll, um, I'll go and buy some more just to show you. It looks like this. It's green. So I look like the witch in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> because I use a chemical exfoliant, I need to protect my skin from the sun more than usual. I went to Kiehl's and I found this day cream. I went to Kiehl's for totally another reason, but as I talked with the guy, he showed me this cream, which is this one here, and it's called um, Ultra Light Daily UV Defense FPS, SPF, sorry, <laughs> SPF 50 PA++ UVA. And I tried it on my, on my hand and I really like the texture and the SPF is way much more than my other cream. So I decided to buy it and yeah, I really like that and I'm going to use the other cream uh, for my body instead because I don't like to just throw things away. Um, the next cream I want to talk about is my night cream. Uh, this has been my holy grail of the night cream since I've been using it. I've been saying so much more improvement in my skin. Sometimes I would go to sleep and I would have like some things happening there and the next morning it will be calmed down, like very very calmed down. And this cream is from Sotis, which is a French brand, Sotis Paris, and it's called Crème Réparatrice. I really love it. It's like I said, it's my holy grail. I've been using it for a while. As soon as this bottle hands, I'll buy a new one. So because I have an oily skin, it kind of always want to create more sebum and that's what creates like all this imbalance like oily face, um, uh, big pores, 
uh, zits, everything. Um, uh, what is it called? I was gonna say black holes, but that's totally not that. <laughs> um, blackheads. Here you go, blackheads. Um, and this cream really kind of calmed the production. So I don't know what it does exactly in the scientific way. I've been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of improvements since I've been using it, so I'm not letting this one go. Next I'll go to makeup. I have two things I want to talk about. The first one is I have finally finished my concealer that I use for foundation. Um, that was the Wake Me Up concealer. <laughs> and I was in need for a new foundation. And I wanted to have something that is very skin looking because it's something that is very very important for me. I've been looking at, once again, Lisa Aldridge and Essie Button and they both say that this foundation is one of their favorite and, it, and that it really looks like skin and it's the Bourgeois uh, Revelateur Declare Healthy Mix so I guess they, you call it Bourgeois Healthy Mix foundation and this is the one and I really really like it um, it is almost the same color for my skin, so I'm very lucky because I think they're shades, they don't have many shades, which is unfortunate. And I like the consistency, which is weird because I think it's my first time to actually really use a proper foundation. Before we just use like concealer or a tinted moisturizer, so really love this. I'm gonna talk about my second favorite. It's this little thing here. So again, it's from Bourgeois and it's the... Um, Color Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick and the color is Peach on the Beach and I went for this color because I have nothing that really looks like that and I saw, I think I think it was Essie Button once again talking about these and while I was in Boost it was like a 3 for 2 deals so I decided to buy that and a concealer and I really like that color, I tried it I think it looks good on me, it's different from what I have, and yeah, I'm gonna try it on here to show you guys. Anyway, you probably can't see anything, can you? And yeah, that's it for makeup. Now I'm gonna talk about something else. Whoop, here it goes. I want to talk about this notebook that I bought, and I have been loving it. It is so nice, so simple, so compact. And what I really like also is that, oops, I'm, here you go, I never know how to open it. Um, I have wanted to write with a special pen in it because what I had was just a simple big. And I've just settled to write inside of my notebook with a sharpie pen, which I really liked. So I'm just going to show you quickly how it looks like. Da -da -da. There you go. So that's it for the notebook. Um, the last thing that I want to mention that uh, was my favorite this month is my mom because uh, it was her birthday and she came to visit me and we had so much fun together and uh, I really like her because she's kind of cool and independent and she goes and do whatever she wants so while I was working she was just exploring the city, finding things to do, and then when I would come back home, she'd be like, oh look, what I've prepared for dinner, and we would eat together, talk, drink some wine, and it was very fun, and I want to say I love you, mom, and uh, I missed you when you left. <laughs> I missed the food you prepared. <laughs> so this is the end of my May's favorite. Uh, it's a bit late, but better late than never, right? So I'm going to try to be more, to think about more of the subject I want to do in my videos so it doesn't stress me out so much during the weekend. And yeah, so I wish you guys a nice day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!